everybody, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something that I wasn't really sure I'd ever talk to anybody about. Uh, I bought something recently that was, like I said, I didn't think I'd ever buy anything, but it's a kilt. Uh, now it's not a full-on hiking kilt, it's not something I use to hike in all the time, but it is a rain kilt. Um, it's made by Z-Pax. Um, it is made out of 1.26 ounces per square yard Cuban fiber. Uh, since it is made out of Cuban fiber, it is kind of costly. I paid $59 for this. Um, but basically this right here, all it is is just a rectangular piece of Cuban fiber and it's got a uh, pull strap in it uh, with a toggle on it and it's got a little piece of Velcro. Uh, basically all you do is you just wrap it around your body or your lower body and it provides rain cover. Now you can buy these in three different sizes. You can buy them in a uh, small, medium, and large I think is the way it goes. Um, I think the lengths on those are 26 inches for the small, 28 for the medium, and 30 for the large. Now I opted to get the large just simply because as light as these things are, um, I think I felt okay getting large and I felt like I would want something that hung down just a little bit farther. Now I bought this to replace my rain pants, especially during the warmer months because my rain pants are 12 ounces and this thing, uh, they're listed at 1.8 ounces on the website and when I actually put it on my scale. I came up with the same thing, 1.8 ounces. So it's, it's really light. I save a lot of weight off my rain pants. But also the neat thing about this is, is it serves more than just one function. It's not just a kilt. You can use it in a couple other different ways. So basically what I'd like to show you is right now I've got it just rolled up. And you see how small it is. So this thing doesn't take up any space in your pack. And again, like I said, it's so light you don't even hardly know it's there. Um, basically the... Uh, this black cord that I've got cinched around it is actually the cord that you use to pull to tighten it up. I just use that to also keep it uh, keep it looped up. So I'll just go ahead and unwrap it. And just so you know, the dimensions on this thing is 52 inches wide, and like I said, you can get it in 26, 28, or 30 inches uh, tall. I got, like I said, I got mine 30 inches tall. Uh, another neat thing about this is that it is black, um, so. One thing that they list on the website, if you ever need to do laundry, and if you don't mind, you could actually put this on and wear nothing underneath it, and you would still be uh, concealed. But anyway, so this is basically it. Uh, some people say it looks just like a, a garbage bag. Uh, and essentially, that's kind of what it is. But the thing is, is it's made out of Cuban fiber. Uh, now, it's not made out of the lightest Cuban fiber. It's made out of, like I say, 1.26 ounces per square yard. So it's uh, pretty durable. Um, it does kind of make a little bit of noise. I don't know, maybe once I use it, that'll go away. That's not a problem at all for me. I have no issues with that. But basically, uh, what he did, basically, it looks like he just hemmed all around the edges. He hemmed a, uh, just an edge around a piece. Uh, of course, once the edges are hemmed, that's where you get the 52 inches and the 30 inches. It's not before the hems. Um, and then at each corner, I don't know how you can see this, but on the bottom two corners, he actually has, on the bottom two corners here, he uh, reinforced it with a tie out, and I'll show you why he did that. He did that on the bottom two corners, and then at the very center in the front, it's reinforced, and this is where your strap is, this is where your bungee cord is with just a little line lock. Also, he's got, if you can see it here, um, that's one end of the hook and loop strap or velcro and then here's the other end. It's very simple to use as far as a rain kilt and I'll show you real quick. All you do, um, you just simply wrap it around you. You attach the velcro, uh, whatever measurement you need and since it is velcro it, it varies. You can, I uh, think, I'm not sure what size waist. Uh, just to let you know, I'm wearing a size 36 jeans, so that tells you uh, what size it is. Now, one thing you'll notice, it is split. It doesn't latch down here. Now, I could put these edges here together. I can put those edges, and I actually did it with a, uh, a little carabiner. But what I found is that I don't have a lot of range to actually walk in. So I just leave those undone. After you hook the Velcro, just turn it back around. Find your cinch cord your cinch cord and lock the lock side lock the lock down and there you have it you can see how long I'm five foot ten and like I say these are uh, 36 inch pants um, at least in waist um, 
inseam I believe is 33 inches. So you see how long it goes down to cover me. Um, but anyway, that's basically it. And since it's not tied up in the bank, you can't say I didn't have some open. So I could be exposed a little bit to the elements there, but that's just, that's quite all right. So here I am, I'm wearing a kilt. <laughs> Something I thought I'd never say. But anyway, I'll show you some of the other things that you can do with it. Just go ahead and loosen that back up. Take it off. Of course, one of the obvious things that, uh, that you can do with this thing is, you see it's plenty big enough. If I come to a spot, I want to take a break or I want to eat some lunch or something like that, I can take this thing out and I can throw it on the ground and I have me a, a nice sized uh, place to sit down and not get all dirty or, uh, or whatever, especially if it's been raining. Uh, and then like I say too, it's made out of the 1.26 ounce Cuban fiber, so it's a little more durable than some of the lighter weight Cuban fiber. Um, so it's supposed to protect me well from rocks and stuff like that. Um, and then one last thing that you can do about it for the tarp users, the way that he's designed this thing, the reason that I showed you these loops on the bottom is you can put this thing in triangle mode. Let me see, I have to put it on the floor, I think, to do it. But put this thing in triangle mode here, and if you use a tarp, then this could actually serve as the bottom part on your tarp. Now you've got it in triangle mode. You can hook this end to one side of the bottom of your tarp, hook this other end to the other side of your tarp, and then hook this top end up here. You can hook it up to the top end. So basically what you've done is you've put a beak on your tarp. So um, it, it comes in handy. It's a multi-use item for sure, uh, depending on how you want to use it. If you use tarps and stuff, it may come in. It's, you know, it's a little more handy for you. It's got more uh, uses out of it. But anyway, this is the Cloud Kilt uh, Z-Pax Cuban Fiber uh, Kilt. And uh, I just kind of wanted to share that with you a little bit. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or a question below on the post. And uh, I'll do my best to answer it for you. Uh, otherwise, check out uh, Joe's site, which is Z-Pax, I believe, .com. I'll put that site up for you. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, just when you think you're done with the video, you're not. I have just a few more things I want to say. Uh, some things I uh, didn't mention during the first part of the video, so I just kind of want to add them here. Um, what I would like to say is that the cloud kilt is not exactly, um, it's not specific to Z-Packs. It's not Z-Packs design. Joe at Z-Packs didn't design this. Uh, rather, what it is is there's a small company, uh, Southern Oregon, I believe. Uh, it's called Trail Light Designs. And basically, a guy named Tom, that's T-H-O-M, um, from what I can tell, he's pretty much the, the big guy over this place. And what he does is he basically designs uh, different kinds of gear for uh, ultralight backpacking as well as, and correct me if I'm saying this wrong, but Tinkara fly fishing. Um, basically, what he does is he comes up with the prototypes and then he goes and he finds uh, a suitable manufacturer to actually... Uh, produce his products and stuff and that's what's happened here with the uh, the cloud kilt so actually Tom from uh, trail light designs has designed the cloud kilt and then he got in contact with Joe from Z packs and those uh, those two guys they got together and decided oh, this is how they're gonna make it and and uh, this is how it's gonna go so I just kind of wanted to throw that in there um, so like I say if uh, if you want to go and check out Tom's site, it's Trail Light Designs, and I'll put that up on the uh, video here. And uh, he's just got a couple of little products on there, kind of neat products. Uh, I think you might be interested, just go ahead and check them out. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure I brought that up. And one other thing I wanted to say, too, is I noticed on their website that they take, uh, they're proud that they can say that all of their prototypes and all the stuff that they make, everything that they make, is actually uh, made in the USA. So that's that's one thing you know you don't find about a lot of companies so uh, I just want to throw that out there about trail light designs but anyway I appreciate you watching the video I appreciate you sticking, uh, for sticking around and until next time see you later